Welcome to our EndNote video series. In this video, I will show you how to create an EndNote library. In this case, I have already installed it to my desktop and I have already launched the EndNote by double clicking on the icon. So when you first launch your EndNote library, you will approach a gray screen like what you see on my screen right now. So to create a new EndNote library, first thing you need to do is to go to your file and file menu and then click on new. At this point, you'll be asked to rename your library. Its default name will be my endnote library.enl, which is the file format. So you can either save it in your documents, which is again the default um, saving for a destination. Otherwise, you can also save it somewhere else. For me, I prefer to save it on my desktop. You can also rename your library accordingly. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to leave it as my EndNote library. Once you have saved this and created this new library, you will have a new window pop up on your screen. So this is a minimized view of the library you have created. What I would usually do is to click the maximize button so that I can see it in full. Do note that your layout might look slightly different from mine, depending on what layout you have chosen. Okay, if you haven't chosen any layout, at the bottom, you can see this button, which uh, shows layout. This is for windows. So for this, you can select bottom split and then the groups panel on the left. This is the layout I'm using. So once you have created your EndNote library, um, there's one thing to note. So let me just show you what the files look like when they have been created. So when you have created your EndNote library, there are two files which are created. One is your .data file and what is your .enl file. So these two files need to be saved together in a location to ensure that your EndNote library works. In the case that you want to tran transport your EndNote library to a different device, it's important that you make sure that you bring both of these files into a thumb drive and then save it into your new device. This also applies to if you're going to change the version of your EndNote library and you still want to use the library you have created. You will see the fresh interface is now ready to be populated with your references. So we'll be covering how you can import your references to your library in our subsequent videos, which will appear in the links on the right. To find out for more about the interface of your EndNote library, you can click on the link on the left. More information on the order of the videos will also be included in the description below. See you in our next video.